Battle Armor He-Man? Huh? Huh? Yeah, let's take a look. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment. Without further ado, He-Man. Hey, kids! It's Hyperdelic again. Today, we're going to be looking at Masterverse. Masters of the Universe Revolution Battle Armor He-Man. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this one looks like they finally did it right. I the, the face is pretty good. It's not perfect. But everything else is so much better than what we've already gotten. Like, I know it means that we spend more money, but boy, do they keep adding on and making these figures better. Um, just take a quick look around, because I really want to get this package open. I want to play with him. <laughs> and I want to set him up on my shelf. Yeah, because he's going to be my new He-Man, I think. He looks great. All this does. Oh, I love the artwork. I, I love the Shadow Demons. I hope that we get some. Um, that would be kind of cool. That would be neat. A little Andra on the side. I like Andra. I did not like her character in Revolution. Um, I felt like they made her too whiny. <laughs> I wanted her to be a tough ass. Um, but, you know, hey. Things, things are what they are, I guess. <laughs> There's the bottom. All right, kids. We're going to open it. Bear McCready, eat your heart out. Yeah, look at him. I uh this is I think this is my favorite He-Man uh so far. Uh even over my kit bashed He-Man. I think this one is is the one that they finally did the right way. Wow. I man, much better. Much better, Mattel. That's me clapping. <laughs> I uh I love the face sculpt. I, uh, I, I I do like in person. It's it's even better than I thought it was going to be. I love the uh, the the battle armor is so much better than that first battle armor that we got. It's got some glisten to it, a little bit of shine. It's not vac metal, and I'll take that. Like I'm okay with that. It doesn't have to be vac metal, but a little bit of shine would be nice. You know, it's possible. <laughs> Look at that. So okay. He comes with several accessories, one of which <laughs> battle damage for the battle armor, right? Uh, which way does it go? That way. All right. We'll pop it in there. And He-Man armor, like, you know, so you can have him without the armor. And, like, I think the colors are much better and much closer to the original He-Man. Uh, I know that the boots are not, but it, it just, it feels more like He-Man out of all of the He-Man like figures that we've gotten so far. Even that, even the new Eternia one, where if you kit bash it the right way, it looks great. This is the best one so far. I, I, I really, really like it a lot. I don't know. But okay, so his uh, accessories. He comes with... Two punchy fists. That's cool. I mean, you know. <laughs> and then, his final accessory is his battle axe. This is the best battle axe they have given us so far. There's a little bit of a departure from the OG, but it. I feel like it's the closest to the OG. Like uh, the original. <laughs> it's a really cool looking battle axe. I like it. Kind of excited about it. Like, look at that. It's got some nice damage to it. You know, some dings and dents. Masterverse is... Okay, so like... 
Masterverse is not your premium figure. It's like you're one step below premium or or what <laughs> what Super 7 likes to call boutique, right? Because you got, first off, you've got your origins. That's like lower level. I mean, there's some smaller figures too that you, you can pick up, you know, like, uh, you know, some of those, uh, 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 the, 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 uh, little, 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 the uh, four inch like uh, 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 Marvel figures and stuff like that. Those are the cheapest ones that you can probably figure, you know, pick up. Then you got like things like Origins, where that's like, you know, you know, lower grade. It's made for play, tough, you know, still painted, still cool looking. Uh, and then you get your Masterverse here. And your Masterverse is like a premium, but accessible premium, right? That's one of the things I like about them. Like I, 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 I wholeheartedly appreciate like the four horsemen stuff, you know, figura obscura. I definitely plan on picking up a few of those in the future. Some NECA, you know, figures are, are some of my favorite. Uh, I've got several, I've got some super sevens, you know, I've got several brands that I would consider, you know, really good premium, you know, designs. Masterverse really, really does well these are outstanding figures like articulation wise sturdiness like just design i think i think they did better than the four horsemen in some aspects especially in like the loincloth and in the boots and stuff like that i think that they did better than the four horsemen had done but you know hey opinions we know what those are like <laughs> all right that's enough like Let's take a closer look at it. And damn! <laughs> look at that. I mean, they did a good job. He's got like a little bit of that rosiness around, uh, like right underneath the eyes. It's a little weird. It's like uh, they, they got to make sure that you 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 remember he's he's a boy or something like that. But I mean, I think at this point he's kind of not a boy anymore, right? So you know what we're gonna. Let's talk about the head articulation. Not a ton. At least not with the battle armor on. Um, left, right, uh, not a whole lot. But again, battle armor on. I'm going to take the battle armor off and we're going to put the regular He-Man armor on. Because, I mean, that's kind of one of the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. Actually, while we're zoomed in, we're going to put battle damage in. So, like, all of these little, all of these little spots around the armor come undone. No, just the top. I mean, I well, the top two. And then you pop. You can pop that. Yeah, right there. Right? Oh, he's naked. No nipples. No nipples. <laughs> Don't worry. No nipples. <laughs> Here, let's check the head articulation now. Much better. <laughs> that, that battle armor really gets in the way of some head, head articulation. Side to side is still not so great. But, I mean... Rule. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I like this buck. This is actually a, a really well. I think they finally, I think they finally got it. I mean, like that looks great the way that it comes down, and then he still has that diaphragm. That's great. That is. I don't know if that is new, but I don't think I've noticed that on any of my Masterverse figures yet. Um, granted, I don't usually strip them down this far but let's put the he-man armor on him i don't usually go for the he the h symbol um i like the old cross symbol i i'm just you know old school like that uh it's not a it's not a oh you're you're ruining my he-man or anything like that i just usually like the cross symbol it, it <laughs> i don't know it seems less branding ish <laughs> but i mean i suppose that's all a matter of like <laughs> from what perspective you're you're, you're looking at it <laughs> some might say there's some clear branding with that cross. <laughs> Good old 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 1980s white America was was a little weird. So I'm having trouble getting this armor on. I mean, I'm gonna get it on, <laughs> but it's tight. It's real tight. Now, somebody said that you might be able to have this on with the battle armor on and i'm gonna test that theory but i don't think it's gonna happen 
Oh, I'm almost there. Almost got it. Um, I don't want to have to break out the heat gun, but yeah. Oof. That was a fight. Let me tell you, that was a battle. <laughs> that was not easy. And yeah. It's tight. I mean, it is. It's really tight, uh, which is better than a lot of the other armors. Let's see if, let's see if you can. Nah, you got to take that off. You definitely have to take it off. It's not going to fit with the armor on, but that's okay. You know what? And while we're here, we're going to take a look at the battle uh, plate. So, I mean, it looks like it can just pop out like that. All right. There's the front. There's your battle damage plate. You just kind of pop it in there. Looks like it just clips in. That's pretty easy. Um, you might even be able to take it out while it's on, but I, I don't know. I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> this may go on my kit bashed He Man, because, like, my kit bashed He Man is like war torn He Man. He's like, what happens to He Man after the battle? But, okay, so let's talk about. Because, I mean, I think this is a relatively new buck. So let's talk about the arm articulation. Like, it goes all the way around. He's got a bicep cut. <clears throat> there is a double elbow. <clears throat> and it would appear to be a different kind of plastic that may play weird under certain lighting. Uh, then we come down to the gauntlet is a separate piece. It can move around. Hands come out. And they are on a rocker. That's one of the parts that pop off. The head parts, head pops off. You can get the boots to pop off. Uh, I highly recommend using some hot water or a blow dryer or a heat gun on low settings to get that out. Um, <laughs> don't melt your figure. <laughs> like, right? Uh, but yeah, th that hand is great. They gave him a... Uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> they gave him a uh, vertical rocker hand so that you can put the power sword in his hand and he can hold it aloft and say, I have the power! Right? I mean, on G.I. Joe guys, we would call that the pew pew hand. But on this one, it's the holding the sword aloft hand. And right, we can just put that. He'll hold the battle axe aloft. <laughs> I have the battle axe. <laughs> All right, so moving on down. We saw the ab crunch there. Or not an ab crunch. Uh, diaphragm. Yes. And I, Masterverse has made me like the diaphragm. Uh, I feel like they do these right. They try to work it into the, um, the sculpt. They try to make it look, you know, as seamless as possible. I mean, I like how the the armor comes around, and it cuts off a little bit of it to, you know, reduce that seam. So, uh, regular waist articulation. Nice yoga pose. This is what I'm talking about when I say that Masterverse has wonderful articulation. Look at that. Like, straight out. No problems whatsoever. The, uh, the fur undies. Get out of the way for everything. You want to take a look at the ball pegs in there. There's no dimples on them balls. <laughs> so they're not going to like lock up in places. But that means it can also get loose on you too. Uh, you know, plop, plop it in hot water whenever you're uh, uh, in doubt. If, you're, if your joints don't seem to be moving right. Uh, hot water is a wonderful uh, a tool for the uh, uh, collector and action figure aficionado. <laughs> So, okay, so uh, he has the hip cup, you know, where hip swivel, double jointed knee. Masterverse figures do some nice butt kicking, almost. I mean, he does middle of the back kicking because of the weird, uh, over exaggerated proportions that Masterverse are, <laughs> right? Um, but they're, they're weird for, you know, to accentuate muscles and make him look beefier and then, uh, and bigger than, you know, other figures we got a boot cut 
the, the boots are very nicely uh uh there's a nice wash on these that really like gives it a nice tone uh overall like there's no wash on the actual figure itself but on the face and everything and uh in the hair there's a there's a wash uh very well executed it's simple enough as a he-man but like there are some really nice details to it and if you take a look at the back there that's what the back of the uh the double double jointed knee looks like sometimes i i know i understand how some people don't like how it kind of you know breaks apart the figure a little bit i feel like there could be something better but uh, you know right now i they're doing a really nice job with these knees they're okay they're they're not exactly what i want but you know, hey, you can't have everything you want. <laughs> and then there's your, there's the info on the bottom of the boot. You got nice peg holes. Uh, the Masterverse peg holes work really nice. They hold tight on just about any stand I've ever put them on. <laughs> like, I can't gush enough about Masterverse figures. Uh, if you can't tell, I do like my Masterverse collection. My Masterverse collection sits on my shelf closest to me. Like, aside from my desktop, like where my absolute favorite like all around toys are my favorite figures are my he-man figures and my masterverse figures sit right there right at almost eye level i got he-man on, on battle cat getting getting into a fight with stinkor because stinkor only has a shield so i had to do something cool with him so battle cat's like biting his shield and stinkor's trying to you know hit him in the head <laughs> Yeah, I pose my figures. <laughs> I like action. Action figures got action. <laughs> but yeah, that's all of his articulation. That's all of the nice little finer points. Um, I, 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 this, this is a great figure. Um, I, th I honestly do believe this is going to be my new He-Man. I may try a couple of different armors, but all around, I think he's my new He-Man. Let's zoom back out. We'll do a we'll do a spin around on him. He man, yeah. Ooh, man, he is he is an awesome, awesome, awesome he man. This is the best he man. I think he's my favorite he man. Like he really is. I I think I love the tones in the metallic armor. It's not quite gold, not orange. Somewhere in that between that like feels right. Like I, they hit it, they nailed it finally. Like I know, I know, I know. It's he's probably not everybody's favorite, but in my in my opinion, I think they nailed it. Like I think they finally got him right. I think that he has enough display options to where you can make him the He Man you want him to be. I mean, he was built for kit bashing. <laughs> right i mean everything comes off everything is removable i mean right down to his gauntlets uh this piece comes off you know uh, it, it, i i think it's glued i didn't try to pull it off usually they are but if you do a little hot water you can pop those off yeah yeah i mean look at this that is that's our he-man finally and you know what i i liked i loved revolution Revolution was fantastic. It was an improvement. I think that the format was better. I think that the pace was better. I think that everything about Revolution was better. I think the fact that they didn't try to overstuff it with big names, but that they focused on the big names for the major roles, absolutely done beautifully. Um, but I'm not going to do a... <laughs> I'm not doing a a review on revolution i am doing a review on the revolution he-man and equally he is just phenomenal like i love this figure like i'm not going to keep saying it but i hope you can tell he-man tell these folks what they should do well you should go and buy my figure <laughs> right because that's how he sounds he's all like hello everyone <laughs> <laughs> all right, He-Man, what else should they do? Well, you you should turn on subscriptions or and, and turn <laughs> subscribe. And why do I always screw this up? <laughs> subscribe 
and turn on notifications. <laughs> and what else? What else? Hit the like button. And then there's some other videos here. You can just keep on watching Hyperdelic all day long. There's probably enough video at this point where you could just like make a whole playlist of just me and just watch it. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should go do that. You know what? Thank you for stopping in. I'm going to go play with my He-Man figure. And uh, I hope that you guys have something to play with. And uh, you have a good day. And uh, enjoy your toys. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go now. All right. Peace.